Hello and welcome to Blocks Master. My name is Elder, and today I'm going to show you my new template for Blocks 4. And it is actually the WordPress template, not just Blocks 4. You can use it for WordPress and for Blocks 4 static websites. And the name of this template is Creator. And I have built this template for people like YouTubers, bloggers, and so on. And well, we can take a look at the demo here inside the Blocks Templates website, but it will be, this one is actually a static version. It's not a WordPress version. To view the WordPress version, I recommend to go to my wife's website because I have built it using this exact template. Only things I changed here is the colors and maybe some shape dividers. Everything else is the same. So before we move forward, let's actually take a look at the files we have. So, well, Bex files are always there. It's just for the regular page templates, but uh, another two files, one is for the static version of this website. And that's, that's very simple. You can see it has all of the same images and everything. And there are a number of pages, but interesting thing is of course the new WordPress template. So let's open it in blocks four and you can see that it has some couple of other things which are not available in other pages, other versions of this website. For example, we have the search box here, the WordPress search and different pages have some different widgets, for example, for recent, uh, recent uh, categories, recent posts. This template has the built-in MailChimp sign-up box, which automatically signs up the visitors to your MailChimp their way. Then they enter their email address. And yeah, I mean, you can take a look at this here inside the template, but like I said, the best way to see this website, this template, is to go to my wife's website right now. And let's actually see how it looks live. I think I will just really resize it a little bit like that. So as you can see, this is the home page and it has the grid of latest recipes. She's recording the videos for cooking recipes. And if you click on the thumbnail here, you get inside the post area, this, the sidebar categories, recent posts, and it has the video, the YouTube video, as well as some gallery text and everything. And all of this is done inside WordPress. It's very, very cool to be able to do this now in blogs because I only create the design once and then it will be applied to each and every page we have here on our website. The menu. Uh, in my first template for Blocks 4 Plus, I have manually built the menu. This time around, this menu is actually also built using WordPress. So all of these templates for all of these categories and tags and search, this is all uh, done in WordPress. All of the design elements are done in Blocks, of course, but everything else, populating of the content is, go is going through the WordPress. So we have the search bar here. So if I type tuna, for example, you can see that it is showing me the results for tuna. If we go inside, we can read. Then I have another search recipes box here. So if I type, well, beans, for example, you can see that it shows all of the, all of the recipes and even blog post these beans, which has the separate blocks uh, blog page and this is not just a recipe it is the blog page as you can see and yeah it's pretty cool and well what else i can show you here these things categories and recent posts posts these are populated using the wordpress this is not something you put in directly when you go to your wordpress dashboard and post something it will be posted here like if you add a new category, it will automatically appear here. Same goes for the recent post. The last, last, latest post will appear on top here in this area. As for newsletter, like I said, you can type some 
newsletter, email address, click subscribe and it will subscribe you. Well, it says that it is already on my on her <laughs> newsletter list because I have probably signed up already. But yeah, this is how you do that. And uh, the page here, for example, this as well was done using WordPress. I haven't even typed this. It's, it's all my wife now. I built her the website, the template, and she's populating all of the other content herself. Yeah, but everything else is done in WordPress. So that's it for this template. Very, very simple. And as you can see, we have these multiple pages here, all populated automatically. We have nothing to do here. So obviously we can take a quick look at how this looks inside. This is the WordPress dashboard. And for example, if I go, I hope she's not going to be mad if I do something. Let's say I quickly add new title here, new post. So test title, title, and I will type some test content doesn't matter. I can set some featured images. You can see that this is the images she already uploaded here. I like this one or whatever. Well, anything, anything like that, for example. So let's set the featured images. So we can use this excerpt, excerpt uh, area to type the description, which will be used for SEO description of our page as well as the social cards and everything. It's all done automatically inside blogs. If you go, for example, into her website, you can see that each page, for example, if we go to single, each page has automatically populated description as well as the social the cards will have the same description. And this is where you put it here inside the dashboard. So if you want for me to do a WordPress tutorial of how to use WordPress, these blogs, let me know. But I recommend to check out the free course from the creators of blogs about WordPress. It basically uh, tells everything you need to know. So this is for description. And yeah, we just populate it here. We select the, the category. So let's say this is breakfast. Let's actually add some image here so we can see how it looks. Okay, so let's add the image. Anything we already have on the website. This one looks cool. This one. Okay, so let's post it. Of course, I will delete it right after I test it, but I just wanted to show you how it looks. As you can see, this is the test title. We just edit here automatically. If we go inside, it says test content. What we typed inside here, and remember test content, it has the image here. You can see that the category is automatically assigned breakfast on top here and below as well. We can leave the comment, test comment, click submit. It will automatically submit the comment. Everything looks very, fresh and simple. As you can see that this one is already in test title, like recent post. And we can go, for example, to breakfast category here as well. And you can see that this one now appears inside the category as well. So before she sees this, I need to go back and delete this because it's not something she will want to see. So let's go back. You can see that I deleted it and now it's gone. So that's nice to be able to create a fully functional WordPress website, but without all of the like all of the disadvantages of using WordPress because this website is still very fast. There is no like plugins, no additional code, nothing. It's just blocks. There's all of the good advantages we have in blocks. This crazy speed, this perfect mobile optimization. As you can see, it works perfectly on all devices. Mobile menu looks beautiful. And that's all done inside blocks, all of the design elements. And the content is populated. We have WordPress. And as you can see, it works and looks great. So uh, that's it for this video. 
If you haven't already, go check it out on Vlogs templates. I have a bunch of templates like this. And if you want to learn blocks, go to blocksmaster.com, which I have, where I have the new blocks for website course for people who want to learn web design with blocks. Blocks for website course, yeah. I'm actually rebuilding this website. This is Squarespace, but I'm rebuilding this in WordPress. Well, I'm, re I'm rebuilding it in Blocks 4 and it will be available soon. And well, it will be something similar to my new website here. As you can see, I have the Blocks Master page inside this website. And honestly, I like it more than my live Blocks Master website at the moment. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. And if you need help with blogs, as always, you can reach me out. Reach to me in comments or reach out to me via the email. I always reply. Uh, recently, I'm a bit busy, so I, it can take a few hours, a few days sometimes. But yeah, if you need any help, get in touch and I will do my best to help you. So thanks for watching this video. I will talk to you in the next one.